Hey there, I'm Joe. Thanks for checking out uh, the Get My YouTube Data package. I'm going to show you really quick how it works. So um, for this example, we're going to build a simple express server. So let's just do that. We'll call it demo. All right, so let's go into our demo folder and we'll install its dependencies first. There's a couple that are in the background there, but it's really nice because they set the whole thing up for you. And then let's do an npm install of get my YouTube data. So let's just get dash my dash YouTube dash data. Okay, oh actually, you know what, I forgot to put a save flag on there. I'm not going to be sending this out, but it's just old habits. Alright, so now what I'll do is let's open up an editor. So in the app, let's see here, do do do, there's the routes, okay, so the index will go there. Alright, well it looks like it's not listening for anything, so let's fix that. App.listen, let's tell it to listen on port 3100, not 1000, and then we'll just log out so we know it's running. Um, let's see on 3100, there we go, save that. And we'll come in here to our routes and in the index. So we're going to need to bring it in. So let's go ahead and bring that in. Call it yt. Uh, yt is going to be equal to acquiring that package we just installed. All right. And if I, I spell it correctly, that would help. And let's see, we're also going to need some identifiers. We're going to need our Google ID and our API key. Now I keep those in a separate file, so you guys can get your own, right? So keys is going to be equal to uh, requiring, and where is that file from here? This is always tricky. So up one, up another, and then probably in there somewhere. We'll call that keys.js. Alright, so let's start uh, a route here. Let's do a router.get, and we'll call it test. So from the root test, that tells us that any time the user puts in the endpoint of root slash test to go here and uh, let's get our function in here it's gonna have a request and a response and all that fun stuff and then we'll just say um, oh you know what so uh, <clears throat> get my YouTube data returns promises so we're gonna have some fun with async await here so async function and then let's just say let the data be equal to await uh, yt dot give me all all right yeah give me all and then let's see it should be keys dot youtube dot id and then we got the second parameter is going to be the keys dot youtube dot api key you can get your api key and your google id and all that good stuff um, if you check out the readme there's going to be a couple different uh, tutorial links and stuff on how to get that. You, I'm sure you'll figure it out. And then let's just uh, res.json that uh, the data. You just see it. It's not going to be pretty, uh, but we're not doing any templating or anything right here, even though we could, right? Just <laughs> All right, so now that we got that set up, let's uh, take a look here and let's run this. And Oh, right, because I have to turn the server on. That would help. So let's do a node mod. And we'll have node mod listen to app.js. Listening on 3100. Let's reload that. And, oh, that's good. So here it is. Boom. These are all of the videos associated with my account. And these are all of the comments that are associated with my account. And now you can take all these juicy, juicy json objects and break them down and make them pretty like you can see here's the comments and the video id and all that fun stuff so thanks for watching i hope you enjoy it if you have any issues please submit it on github